Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you guys how you can add subtitle to any video in DaVinci Resolve in the simplest way possible. The most important thing to note here is that I am going to show you the procedure in three different formats which means that if you export the subtitle you can do that in three different formats which will be as a separate file, the SRT file as we all know. You can burn the subtitle into the video and finally you can embed the subtitle as a track inside the video. So these are the three formats. Also note that I am going to show you how to customize the subtitle which means that you can change the font, the size of the font, position of the subtitle, all of this stuff in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video guys. My name is Samian Savant. Welcome to the channel. Alright, let's get started. Now to add subtitles, you will need a base clip, right? So this is the clip that I've taken. So first thing that you will do is simply right click on the left side of the timeline here. Okay. And click on add subtitle track. Once you do that, a new section will be created dedicated only for the subtitles. Okay. Now once the track is created, all you have to do is simply right click here in the in the timeline section and then click on add subtitle. But before that, you have to see that your slider is where you want the subtitle because if I click add subtitle here, the subtitle will be created wherever the slider is. So all you have to do is bring in the slider at the start, right click and then click on add subtitle. So a box will be created here. Once the box is created, it is very similar to the text section. Okay, so just click on it and the inspector will open and this will be the basic box of the subtitle. So you'll type in whatever you want here. So what am I saying in this section? So now this video is divided into various segments and all the time. So now this video is divided into various segments. So Okay, so the subtitle is ready. Now you want to adjust the subtitles position, change anything with the subtitle. All that you have to do will be in the style section. Just come to style section. You can change the font, whatever you want. Let's go with man rope for now. Okay, it's it must be some somewhere around here. Okay, see this is Manro. Okay, so let's take Manro. You can keep the font face normal, bond it like whatever you want, bold it like whatever you want. Go with the color size. Okay, you can also add stroke, transform, drop shadow, background. Do whatever you want. This is the section that you have to come to. Okay, so style section. You can customize the subtitle. Coming back to the caption section. Now, if you want to create more subtitles, I'll show you a simple trick. Don't go with right click add subtitle, simply click alt and drag the previous subtitle ahead. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, my magnet feature is off for some reason. And all the time stamp. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Now, simply listen to whatever you are saying and go on entering the subtitles. I'm going to fast forward this process so you don't have to see all that. All right. So the subtitles are ready. Now, one benefit of the subtitle section is that once you create even a single subtitle box and you go on creating more of them, the position of all is linked. So if I change the position of this one here, okay, let's say I zoom it like this, zoom in like this or zoom out like this and change the position here. Every single subtitle will change to that particular position. So you don't have to personally change the position of every single subtitle. So that's how you can add subtitles guys. Now, the most important part is when you are exporting. Okay. So we are in the custom section. You'll have to obviously name the file something. I'll name it ABC. Okay. Now here, see this thing, subtitle settings, open this and check the export subtitle section. Now here they will ask you for the format. As I said, there are three different formats. Okay. So first is a separate file. Now here, Usually most of the people just go ahead with SRT or SRT without formatting whatever is your preference Okay, and select the subtitle track various people also create more subtitle tracks Okay, one two three whatever they want But here you will have to select whichever track that you want So here we have only created one track subtitle one select it and just hit render Okay, so render the file now once you render the file right click open file location as you can see the video has been created and the SRT file has been created. So whichever player supports adding in the subtitle, you can use that and add the subtitle in the particular file. Next is burn into video. 
Now this is what we want because burn into video what it will do is that it will also follow the font format okay and it will be inside the video there's no separate file for that so if I add it to the render queue let's replace it and render it okay now let's open the location now this is no more useful to us because we have burned now the subtitles inside the video okay inside the video, video is itself divided into various so that was burn into video and one last final format is as embedded caption okay so what it will do is just simply select text and add it to the render queue i'll replace it again and render it what it will do is that the subtitles will be inside the video but not burned into the video so all you have to do is play the video so now this, okay i'll pause it here and right click subtitle and as you can see it is embedded inside as track one so simply select track one and we'll play the video so again this as you can see the subtitles are here you can also adjust the size but the only disadvantage of embedding it inside the video is that you won't be able to see the particular font that you have added the video okay. is divided into various segments and all the timestamps are given in the description so if you want to jump to any of the segments go right ahead as you can see the subtitles are here so if you are going with any youtube video or something i would suggest that go ahead with burn into video so you can customize the font if let's say you want to upload the file later for the youtube video you can go with the srt thing as a separate file okay so that's it for the video guys that's how you can create subtitles in davinci resolve it's a very simple process and i hope you found it useful and if you did make sure that you like the video it really helps me with the algorithm share this video with your friends so that they can also use this awesome feature and don't forget to subscribe to the channel how to tech videos tech reviews gaming coding is all that goes on on this channel i do live streams every monday and every wednesday and friday i put different kinds of videos on this channel so make sure that you don't miss out on these videos and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and finally you can also follow me on all kinds of social medias the links are given in the description so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching the video bye bye